Here we have the Multicam 3000 series 4x8 CNC router. Comes with both paper and electronic manuals. Comes with a 20 horsepower Multicam TurboVac system. New liquid filled gauge installed. New main external filter and filter housing installed. This machine comes with an air regulator that brings the PSI down to 100. Here's the 5.5 horsepower Colombo spindle with an RPM range of 4,000 to 32,000 RPM. This machine was new in 2005, comes with an all servo drive and motor system. Here's a look inside the cabinet. The vacuum table is in good shape. In this quick video, we're gonna run through the machine, show you some of the major features, and show you that the machine is fully functional and everything is working. First thing we're gonna do is home the machine. That'll show you that it's homes perfectly. First it goes up in the Z, and then it asks to return any tool holders. We don't have any in the machine, so we'll go ahead and continue. And it homes towards the Y axis, and now the X. The machine is honed and ready to go. Now we can Warm up the spindle. I'll go ahead and grab tool two, since that is our 3 8 compression cutter, and hit enter. Machine will run down and grab tool two, and then begin the warm up procedure. hear it, but the spindle is now spinning at 6,000 RPM. Starts at 6,000, then I'll go to 12, and finish off at 18. going to take a quick look at the vacuum system now. The 20 horsepower PD pump is in the back, piped at the bottom of the table. We've got a one inch phenolic vacuum grid with a spoil board on top. It's been freshly machined and that program is automatically created with the machine. And now we'll go ahead and turn on the switch. We'll take this piece of melamine about 7 by 12 inches, throw it on the table. Instantly stuck, I'd sooner cut my hand than be able to pry this off of that table. Now keep in mind, the vacuum table is completely wide open right now, one giant leak. So even with all that air escaping, if you don't have a full sheet of melamine on the table, it's able to hold that 7 by 12 inch part very, very tight. We're gonna go ahead and hit the spindle test button. And it'll ramp up right now. So as you can tell, it's very quiet, very smooth. Spindle is smooth, no noticeable vibration, and very quiet. And that spindle test is running right there, 15,000 RPM.
now I'd like to do a couple of quick videos of the machine running so you can see it in action, moving in all directions, and you can hear just how smooth and quiet this machine is. So we're going to run it without the vacuum pump on and without the dust collection. And so if I go into menu and cut utilities, we're going to do a rectangle, and then we're going to hit start. So I wanted to be quiet during that whole time, but that was the spindle ramping up to 15,000 RPM, dust shroud coming down, and it going around that uh, part, and that's how quiet the machine is. Now, without the spindle on, I can just jog the machine as well, and we can go in different directions. And you can hear how smooth that is on the y-axis. I can't really hear anything over the sound of my air compressor in the back of the shop. And I'll bring the machine a little closer and I can go up and down to the z-axis a couple times. Again, virtually silent. We've gone through, greased, cleaned, and lubed all the bearings, the ball screw in the Z, all the guideways. This thing is smooth, operational, and ready to run. If we look at the keypad here, this is our button to connect to our folders on our PC in the office. And so you can see that that's working, it loads that up immediately. Um, that multicam software is included with the machine. And we can scroll down and open up any folder that we want. We can create any folder and any directory names that we want on our uh, PC in the office. And that'll be connected to this. This is how we pull our files. We simply just pick the one we want and then hit go. Of course this machine comes with the surface block that allows you to set your surface automatically. And also the calibration block in the back here that allows you to measure all your tools one time and then it permanently remembers the tool lengths in memory until it's time to change that tool out. So they both work pretty much the same. We'll show you how this works and we'll utilize the surface block up here. And really it just needs that surface block and then this grounding wire, which is attached to a really strong magnet. So we just take this magnet and you just stick it to the side of the tool holder just like that. And now all we have to do is go to the menu and set surface. In fact, it's just this button right here, the tool on top of the spoil board. Would you like the surface tool too? Enter for yes. And now I'm just going to get a little closer. I can do that manually wherever I'm comfortable with. And then when I'm ready, it's just uh, zero to automatically set. So we're going to hit our zero button here. And we're going to automatically allow that to as soon as it sensed that block, it automatically reversed and went straight up to our toolless site, and that surface is now set. Now we will actually show you a sample cut. We're going to go 0.3 inches deep in this piece of melamine. Utilities, cup utility, square, nine inches by nine inches. We're moving about four hundred inches a minute, fifteen thousand RPM. Jog the machine out of the way and take a look. Nice clean cut.
take my calipers. Look at this. The depth is exactly three inches. And I'll grab the tape measure. And programmed nine inches by nine inches. Check this direction first. We can go to shutdown, it'll put the tool away automatically. Or you can go to menu and you can go down to the tools under ATC for automatic tool changer. And you can tell it to unload the tool at any time without shutting the machine down. So if I go in there and hit enter, I can hit one to unload tool now. And rapidly move the machine back. been a little bit of an overview on the Multicam 3000 series CNC router.